Shalom. This is your brother Tazaya Amar of Dry Lost the GMS. Coming with you with a, little, a lesson on a key component in this slash walk journey that we are embarking upon. But first of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rikakadash. And say double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS for teaching us this 100% truth of these scriptures. And also want to thank them for their dedication and unwavering faith and peace and blessing. And also peace and blessing to all the brothers and sisters that's on this walk slash journey also. Shalom. As I mentioned, this key component in this slash this walk slash journey is faith. And with that, I'm gonna go to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter eleven verse six. Starting at verse 6. This is the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. You know, this this reward, uh, which is known as faith, is a gift from the Most High. And without this, without faith, it's, it's impossible to please him. So we must keep the faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah, being one of the most high of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Through Noah's faith, he was able to save his family. And through faith, he was he was able to withstand all the ridicule, scoffing, and scorning for 120 years as he built that up. Can you imagine, you know, being ridiculed and the, the butt of all jokes from everybody? For 120 years, and your and your faith never wavered. You never just want to give up and say, you know, why am I doing this? No, Noah never questioned God, and he he never uh, deterred from what he was doing. Every time I guess every time somebody was scoring a scarf, Noah he hit them nails in that in that ark just a little bit harder. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for inheritance, obeyed and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Can you imagine traveling to a foreign land? You don't know what to expect or what you're going to encounter on, on as you embark on this journey. That's pretty much what we are into now. You know, things going to come our way that going to try to deter us from this walk. You know, you're going to have different situations, even in your own household. You're going to have brothers and sisters that might come against you, parents that might come against you, um, spouse, children, and the list go on. This is the book of Hebrew, chapter 11. Starting, get, starting at verse 9. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob. He held with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. All praises. So with that, I'm going to 
jump to Ephesians chapter Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 this is the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself it is the gift of the Most High all oh, praise it faith is a gift there's nothing you can there's no works there's no no monetary value that you can put on it you can't buy it you can only you can only obtain it by the grace of the Most High and Ephesians chapter 2 verse 9 go into that not a works lest any man should boast not a works lest any man should boast so hey without faith then if faith was not a gift wasn't a gift you are uh, if you could obtain it by works which uh you know our our, our righteousness is like filter rising to him so you would you would you would be boasting if you could obtain it by works or if you could obtain it by your social status nope won't work and with that I'm going to move to uh, first Corinthian first Corinthian chapter 2 starting at verse 14 this is the book of 1st Corinthians chapter 2 starting at verse 14 but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High for they are foolishness unto him hey if you have a carnal mind the things of the Bible of the, of the Holy Scriptures hey they wouldn't even make sense to you you know you you couldn't you couldn't Grasp the the, uh, the concept of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh not loving everybody. That's one of the biggest stumbling blocks amongst Christians. That hey, the Most High do not love everybody, and that He got a chosen people of all people that are on the face of this earth. For they are foolishness unto Him; neither can He know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. When the Most High is dealing with you spiritually, hey, you have an understanding that hey overshadow your these these two third reprobates out here. First Corinthians chapter two verse fifteen. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. So hey, let the bump a Tupac theory that only God can judge. We can judge us also as but we have to judge in righteousness. We can't tell you to stop smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, sleeping with another man's wife, and all uh, eating abominable food. We can't tell you not to do it if we're doing it also. And with that, I'm going to move on to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians uh, 5, verse 7. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. This this precept here remind me of Peter when he saw Yahweh Shai walking on the water. And Peter stepped out on the water and he was walking toward Yahweh Shai. But as soon as uh, the storm, a little storm came up and the waves started getting a little choppy, Peter forgot 
took his eyes off the Most High, Yahweh Shah, and uh, started look, looking at the things that was happening around him. And that's to remind us in our lives, time we hey, we going the water gonna get a little choppy. We're gonna have some waves. We're gonna have some storms and tempests. But the, don't lose faith. And with that, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Once again, double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us this 100% truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Peace and blessing to all the sincere brothers and sisters that's on this walk slash journey. Also, Shalom. From Yasharala and a bar with a bar. Shalom.